The only way to know what's going on underwater is to talk to those who spend their lives in it and come up to tell the tale. Nancy Elder is one of those amphibious sorts. So is Steve Rubin. He's dropping anchor near a bait ball. One of the many signs of life that's returned to the Elwha Delta. Something down below schools them up, which is usually fish or porpoises. And then the birds dive into that mass of forage fish. But while fish appeared, algae did the opposite. And in some spots where there was lots of algae before, say 50% coverage of the bottom, you know, you look at the bottom and more than half of it is algae, it was nearly all gone. Rubin says it's likely because of all the sediment the dam released when it was removed. The water it let loose carried with it tons of riverbed. That stopped light from reaching the bottom and feeding algae. But in the last few years, it's cleared up and we wanted to see for ourselves. Elder and Rubin have followed the same lines for 10 years, with the delta bed changing from gravel and rock to softer sand. Fish like the starry flounder have found a new home. The same goes for adult Dungeness crabs, whose return has prompted a new crab fishery. A new kind of sea slug moved in and became the predominant of its species. Ratfish disappeared for a while, but now they're back too. And now that the sediment settled, kelp is returning as well. The researchers have used plastic paper to record it all while underwater. It was clearer than I've seen it in a long time. I would say at least 15 feet. Lots of visibility for the day the researchers will stop all their searching. It's the last dive of their 10 year study. I really like. Uh, trying to figure out what happened. That's something I um, think about a lot. When I was a kid, I grew up in Indiana, and my hero was Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> and I used to go out in the rivers in Indiana and look around to see what kinds of fish and critters I could find. So now I get to do this for 10 years on this project. It's been awesome. The two divers hope to return someday, but say just because they're gone doesn't mean the story is over. Near the Elwha River Delta, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News. If you'd like to see more of the underwater video from the Elwha River, check out our website, king5.com.